Hi Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please go ahead and smash that like button and do subscribe. You can get a personal text reading with me also. Link is in the description box below this video. So yeah, this is a channel for Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take with it, leave the rest. We're going to take a look at the future weekend coming up here. See what's on tap for you guys. So, wow. Starting with the summer solstice, June 21st through the 23rd. All right, Virgo. So let's get into your reading and see what messages are showing up here. You're starting with love call. You have the runner and you have coffin. Okay. Mm. Starts out great. <laughs> Gosh, Virgo. Starts out great, doesn't it? Woohoo! Someone expresses love. You're going to get a call this weekend from someone. Uh, a call. They voice their love for you. Um, or they send a message. They tell you they're thinking of you and letting you know. Okay, let's take a look and see. Who could this be for Virgo? Who is calling Virgo? Okay, you got justice. Oh, it's going to be a surprise. Hmm, so we have Libra Cancer. It's going to be a surprise. This call coming in, you're not going to expect this. Um, maybe the call might be a surprise or the message might be a surprise. Um, and there is an energy of someone here like speaking their truth. Like what they say to you is truthful, okay? And their intention is to progress a relationship with you by expressing their feelings here coming out of their comfort zone to tell you this okay um so they're giving a little they're not giving a lot it's it's pretty much just could be thinking of you i miss you um sending some hearts some kisses that kind of thing their intention is to progress the relationship but they're not i don't feel like whoever this person is going to be overboard with their with this love call or message whatever it is you're receiving okay and i feel like mostly for friday um is going to be the highest of significance this could happen anytime over the weekend but the highest of significance feels like on Hmm, Friday. And I'm also feeling like somebody might be temporarily away or away or um, there might be a conversation about going somewhere together over the weekend or taking a trip, making plans for the weekend or for another time. Okay. Um, let me just get, they say get one more card. Also, Virgo, um, yeah, like I said, I feel like you're going to be focusing on Whatever you're focus whatever you're doing this weekend, whatever you got going on, even if you've got nothing going on, you might just be focusing on nothing. But it's definitely going to be a surprise. This uh, love thing that comes through, yeah. Um, of course, Virgo, you're probably going to be in hermit mode this weekend. What are you just like chilling out by yourself, perhaps? So yeah, um, it's nice. I feel like it's a nice message coming from someone. It could be another Virgo. I feel like it's a it's it feels sweet. It feels nice. Um, it's not like, oh, hey, you're getting like a marriage proposal or someone committing. It's more along the lines of like just letting you know how they feel about you. Okay, fair is fair, right? So now you also have the runner. Some of you might be, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, running this weekend. Maybe you're going to be running on a treadmill. Maybe you're going to be running in a marathon, um, doing some running in place as well. That could be an energy or there could be somebody you connect with over this weekend that's doing all those things. Let's take a look. But the runner also represents runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy. Um, I don't want to say anything. Let me keep going. Okay. Somebody here is not 100% sure about reckon, uh, reunion. I'm trying to figure that out. They might be busy running around over this weekend um you do have the king of cups that could be cancer scorpio pisces energy weighing their options something about a reunion or about going home or um, weighing their options about committing um listening to their ego like i said okay queen of wands and there might be you and another person um or, or like them and another person um there might be something to do with yeah it feels like um either um a water sign or a fire sign that's significant in their life 
Oh, look. Oh, okay. Story is getting deep. Uh, making a decision between you and another person. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Running from either you or another person. Wow. Oh, gosh. There's definitely a decision being made. <clears throat> For some of you, this could be a decision being made specifically about you if you're on the cusp of Leo or Virgo. Um, or Leo and Virgo, like if your birthday is like... Um, August, the end of August. So um, I feel like somebody might be addressing their issues. Could be a fire sign, a water sign, or an earth sign. But I feel like someone is kind of taking a look at, it feels like juggling. That's the energy here. Whether someone is going to run from a relationship or run run to you <laughs> i want to run to you all right i just want to get another clarifying card here because i feel like someone that whoever the person is there is could be a decision about dating or commitment or marriage or happily ever after situation Ooh. Mm -hmm. could have something to do with also um wanting to be a parent uh somebody's running away from wanting to either yeah i feel like somebody doesn't want kids that's what i just heard somebody does not want kids it could be you it could be this person anyway <clears throat> what is the energy playing out here um you know i feel like there's a lot of people here <laughs> showing up in this reading there's a huge decision being made are you going to get wind of this probably not i don't see any communication in regard to that but if somebody over this weekend kind of ghosts you or runs away it has everything to do with their trying to make a decision. <clears throat> There's also something going on with a mother figure, okay? Whether that's your mother, their mother. Um, gosh, I, I have to tell you, it's leaning pretty positive toward you. Somebody is talking to um, an ex-spouse about you or is getting a divorce from someone to go in your direction uh freeing themselves from a relationship they could be talking to a family member about you i yeah i know you know i gotta tell you the runner fear of intimacy listening to ego but then with all these other cards somebody's not running anymore that's what i feel like somebody's gonna stop running and make a decision in regards to you could be a libra taurus virgo capricorn um aries leo sag hmm yeah i don't know I, I not that i don't know but i it does feel that it's leaning more towards coming in your direction to solidify something between you and them but there is a slight chance that somebody might be making a decision to run away from this relationship very small teeny tiny percentage of you okay just need to put that out there not every message is you know you pick and choose like whatever feels best for you i think whatever resonates most for you if you know something in regards to somebody um i will say someone's very codependent you could be the one who's running but it, somebody is very codependent doesn't want to let you go i will say that it's just they have a hard time getting close codependents do tend to run away yes okay so saturday mostly looks like there's a little bit of a disappearing act not so much ghosting but i feel like this is a heavy somebody is heavily weighing options in regards to you and a relationship okay i also feel like um some of you might be attending or you might meet the love of your life at either a wedding over the weekend or some kind of celebratory event if you go somewhere over the weekend at any point in the weekend there might be a connection that you make as well like you might connect with like your soul flame okay so saturday is a little you know up and down it's a little iffy a little iffy you might be connecting with with a mother figure as well or or maybe finding out about somebody's pregnancy which is very positive. Um, geez, 
they just said somebody's running to get a pregnancy test because <laughs> it's up in the air we don't know somebody might you might find out somebody might find out that they're pregnant and they don't know who it is oh my goodness that's terrible i hope that's not the case okay interesting interesting nonetheless so sunday you've got coffin okay so uh, someone might someone might be attending a funeral on sunday i'm not saying somebody's gonna die on sunday um you might already know about this and you know you're going okay i will say that now let's kind of dig into this a little bit coffin also represents endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation and transition okay so there's definitely an ending on sunday and something new beginning Queen of Swords. Oh, yeah, there's definitely somebody's cutting somebody off so they can get some healing. Oh, that's for sure. The star is very much healing energy. Renewal of the spirit. There's a conversation happening and could be you, Virgo. You might just be having a conversation with someone where you're like, you know, this is done. Shutting it down. Shutting something down here. Um, so we do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the King of Swords showing up here again. Um, hmm, a lot of sword energy. Page of Wands. Um, some of you, like, I do feel like you're connecting with somebody new over this weekend as well. Because there's excitement. Yes, there is excitement on Sunday. Let me just get a few more clarifying cards. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're uh, there's something. You're going to be going to something on Sunday perhaps. I mean, it could just be like pulling over the side of the road and getting some lemonade. <laughs> you got any lemonade? So there is definitely uh like a little bit of a a crush. Some of you are also uh, there's something here about I want my kid back I'm hearing or uh, I want you're gonna have a, a child or someone over the weekend and there's gonna be a party as well and I'm just hearing um, designated driver they're just saying designated driver get a designated driver there's gonna be drinks there's gonna be food the weekend looks kind of busy it looks kind of exciting but kind of busy there is something here to do with it with a child though child is involved over this weekend could be any child stepchild grandchild actual son or daughter um okay but why is it ten of wands here yeah huh okay so you might be hosting a party on Sunday as well or some kind of event or something. Um, it's going to be strenuous. Definitely, it's going to be strenuous. But I do feel like um, there will be a reprieve. So there's something here that you're doing on Sunday that's connected to some kind of an event. But you may also be really shutting some stuff down on Sunday. I don't know exactly what it is. Um, you're speaking up, though, on Sunday. You're speaking up about something. You're liberating yourself, causing some growth and some change after something is ending, okay? Um, you're definitely speaking up about something. But I also feel it, it, it has something to do with an air sign. I just have to tell you. Um could have something to do with like you're not going to for some of you there is another message that you're not going to be able to do something that's what I'm hearing um you might be asked somebody might ask you to do something you might have a cold and you can't do it or you bow out because you're not feeling well but somebody does ask you to do something they want you to like really uh, just take a leap of faith and just do something but it's gonna it's gonna be very strenuous whatever it is i feel like you'll get a reprieve and say no and shut something down here so you can maybe get healthy or heal on something um yeah that kind of feels like the biggest message there a roundabout way it's it's 
it's a little bit specific just a little bit all right let me see what else is showing up here for you over this weekend so just keep in mind that because it's for the three next three days the energy can play out can you know sunday can happen on friday friday can happen on saturday just keep that in mind okay so you've got manifest tell the universe exactly what you want this weekend virgo really important speak up you do have a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We already saw that. It's going to be significant over this weekend. Then you have to speak up, maybe tell the universe or tell this person exactly what you want. And also your health. Health issues could arise. So remember I said there may be, like I'm looking at coughing and then I'm hearing like, <coughs> so, so, so you might not be feeling well. Some health issues are going to show up anytime over this weekend, okay? Um, take good care of yourself. Drink a lot of water. If you're, if you're coughing, Drink a ton of water, okay, as much as you can. Or you might have to stay home with a little one who's who's ill over the weekend as well, and you can't do something as well. But you will get a, a reprieve because I see a lot of support. There'll be some other people around to help you out with something. It's it's not detrimental to you or to anybody else. It's not like that. Anything else here Virgo needs to know? Okay. So you got earth sign showing up here too obviously could be your energy taurus virgo capricorn um saying yes to you about something so if you asked a question or if you uh, you're trying to get an answer to something the answer is yes i don't know what your question is but i'm just hearing there's a virgo here it's got something on their mind and they want to know that and it, the answer is yes so it's either yes from another earth sign or it's the answer is going towards you as a yes. Luck is on your side. Something here is going to be, it's going to work out for you in your favor. You also have open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. And cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. Yep. Like I said, endings bring new beginnings. So there's some kind of change that's happening here. Like I said, some of you might be connecting with somebody new. Or there may be um, somebody, uh, a recommitment to a relationship from someone who's run away in the past. Okay, now, you do have honeymoon. Honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. So I feel like the cards are just kind of like, yeah, we're just going to confirm it. There is something. Maybe you're going to a wedding or leave me a comment. Let me know what you're doing. You've got some kind of plan or... Maybe you're going to some kind of a party over this weekend. You could connect with somebody at that party or meet someone there. Um, get some good news showing up as well over the weekend. But there's definitely a shift and a change in your life. And I, I don't, I mean, I feel like you're going to be speaking up about something, but I also feel like you're going to get. Um, some kind of like wow this is out of character for someone and it's very positive okay it's a very positive message from it's a yes i'm hearing all right let's take a look at your messages of love virgo okay you have release radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go wow you also have faded destined partnership this relationship can stand the test of time. And for some of you, this is a friendship that's leading to more. Hmm. Something interesting happening over, happening over this weekend, Virgo. Let's see. Someone's obsessed with you. Someone is obsessed. They hope you will forgive them. They want to heal something and ha take a leap of faith. But they're being patient, waiting for the right time. So kind of going a little bit slow. But here you go. New love and our recommitment to love. Something's definitely significant happening over this weekend um, for you in regards to your love life. Um, some of you will be getting an apology. Yes. If, if you're expecting or you want to hear an apology from someone, I feel like you're going to hear something. Although, um, I, I just kind of keep coming back. They keep bringing me back to it's going to be kind of out of, out of character. 
Um, Because when you say you're expecting an apology, um, it might be out of character for someone to apologize to you. And you might be like, well, I do, I kind of was expecting or hoping that they would, but I'm actually surprised that they did. Um, Because part of me really doesn't expect them to apologize. (laughs) I don't know why, based on the way somebody is or, you know, whatever issues, you're definitely going to hear something. All right, Sagittarius, Aquarius, double Aquarius, and a Leo. Very significant this weekend. So you have 1978, September 2nd, significant. Someone is 58 or 1958. Someone is 50 or 1950. August 30th, 61, 68, 82, 79, 49. Someone is 37 and someone's also 33. Um, okay, September 18th. August 31st, um, September 21st, someone is 43, we have the 8th, September 8th, September 3rd, okay, Joan or Joanne, Um, also April and August are very significant months, you could be an August Virgo, is connected with an April uh, Aries or Taurus. Let's see. Okay. My tie. They just gave me my tie. <laughs> Can you fix my tie? My tie. Somebody needs to go to the DMV. You seriously need to take care of your your stuff. Um, I'm hearing Joseph, or I'm also hearing. Okay, that's odd. At first, I thought they were saying Jeff, but it sounds like they're saying Joff, Joffrey, J-O-F-F. It could be Jeff, but I'm hearing Joff. I just have to say that. I'm also picking up AJ. Okay. Mm. Someone's in Australia. Yes, someone's in Australia. Uh, Faye. Someone's name is Faye. I'm getting Jay again. Hey, Jason. They keep calling your name. What's going on? Um, June. Someone's name is June or J- Julie. Okay. Uh, Mavis. I don't know what that is. Is that a name? Mavis? Or someone's in Maine? Um, and somebody's going to ask you for a favor this weekend. Yes, ask you for a favor. Um, Somebody's also having some jam on their toast or jelly and jam. Mm. Uh, Drinking some orange juice. There's orange juice. Orenthal J. Simpson. Marjorie, I just heard Marjorie. Anybody else? And no, Jaffa, I just heard Jaffa. I don't know if that is like Jaffa cakes. Oh, and Jamie, they're just giving me Jamie. All right, let's see what your, oh, shit ton of, She's a ton of, of charms here. So we've got apples. Somebody might be a New Yorker is eating an apple. Uh, somebody's going to get their bells rung this weekend. <laughs> Something about a bell. Some bells this weekend. It could be like a, a ringtone. Sounds like a bell. Bells ringing. Something like specific. Uh, or a wedding this weekend again. I also feel like, uh, yeah, we've got a, a bee. A buzzing bee. Honeybee something to do with honey um someone's looking at the bermuda triangle there's a connection to the bermuda triangle this weekend i also have a leaf a tree leaf or green leaf something to do with leaves maybe i don't know if you're maybe it's weed 
and the dragonfly which is beautiful this is like change and i feel like you're going to find out some news some good news this weekend okay i'm not going to get the rest of those because that's just way too many and they fill anyway so um these bells they kind of feel like wedding bells but also holiday bells i don't know i'm seeing they're showing me like a church or a place where there's seats and i'm seeing like ribbon that's draped with with bells um on the end i like at, at every spot where the ribbon is draped tacked up it's bells something here to do with bells bella maybe it's bella or bellas bellas all right you guys so i'm gonna leave that there i hope you enjoyed that that's gonna be your weekend reading don't forget book a text message with me reading you just book it and then you get it the next day um yeah and that's pretty much it i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend i will be back here monday evening as i need to uh free up my friday saturdays and sundays for the summer i did leave a comment in my community tab if you didn't know um and then we will resume back to our regular schedule in the fall but for now you can count on me to be here monday evening tuesday wednesday and thursday evenings all right you guys have a fantastic weekend and i will see you all back here monday night all right take care <laughs>